All right, guys, welcome to the last video in this course on React Table. In this video, we're going to learn about sticky columns. Often, you will end up with a table that has 10 or more columns. But as a user, it becomes difficult to relate the last column in the table to the first identifier column. This is where sticky columns can help you. By making use of sticky columns, few columns will stay in place and the rest of the columns will have a horizontal scrolling behavior. It might make more sense to you once you see the UI in the browser. Now this video is going to be slightly different from the other videos. Sticky columns is not a feature provided by React Table. So we have to make use of another package called React Table Sticky. And since the example code provided by that package has quite a few changes from our basic table, we have to modify our basic table component. Nothing changes in functionality, but the CSS and the JSX do change quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is pretty much copy paste the example code, but walk you through that code and explain what it does. So consider this video as more of an introduction to sticky table rather than me teaching a tutorial. I had to implement this feature at work and I feel that a lot of you will definitely benefit by at least knowing this feature can be implemented with React Table. Let's begin. I'm here at the React Table sticky documentation. You can see that we have the installation command. We however use yarn so back in VS Code, in the terminal, let's run the command yarn add react table sticky. Another package that is required to style our table component is the styled components package. Let's install that as well. Yarn add styled hyphen components. Now we can proceed with implementation. First, in the components folder, create a new file called sticky table.js. Copy the code from basic table and rename the component to sticky table. Now let's focus on the different steps to implement. Step one, create a styled component using the styled components package. So again, in the components folder, create a new file called table styles.js. Here, import the styled components package. So import styled from styled components. Now, go back to the GitHub repo, scroll down a bit, and copy this styles component into the file. Copy and paste it. Make sure to export it. Step two, let's modify our sticky table. First, we need to import a couple of things. From React Table, import use block layout, and then import use sticky from React Table sticky. To the use table hook, pass in these additional hooks. Use block layout and use sticky. Next, we modify the JSX. Head back to the GitHub repo. From the table demo component, copy the entire JSX and paste it as the JSX for this sticky table component. We have a red squiggly on styles, so let's make sure we import it. 
import styles from dot slash table styles this component right here now if I scroll down we don't really need the footer so I'm going to remove it also let's just restrict the data to 20 rows as that is sufficient for our example const first page rows is equal to rows dot slice 0 comma 20 and then instead of rows dot map first page rows dot map so that is our step two modifying the JSX the final step is to specify which of our columns are sticky and we do that in columns dot JS on each column we can specify a sticky property and set it to left or right let me set ID, first name, and last name as sticky columns. Sticky left, sticky left, last name as well, sticky left. Since they are the initial columns in the table, we want them to stick to the left when scrolling horizontally. Also, since our table has only six columns at the moment, Let's add in the left out email and age columns to add a bit more width for scrolling. I'm going to copy paste the two columns. So header email, footer email, accessor is email, header age, footer age, accessor is age. Now the footer doesn't really matter in this example, but I've left it for uniformity. All right, with that, we are done with the code. Let's save all the files, include sticky table in app.js, open the terminal, run yarn start, and head to the browser. On page load, you can see that our table now has fixed height and width. Makes sense for a practical web app as well, since your content area would be limited. At the moment, not all the columns are visible. If I scroll horizontally, you can see that the first three columns always stick to the left and only the rest of the columns scroll. This helps you relate the data in the rightmost columns to the columns that identify the rows like first name and last name. Right now, we just have eight columns but this advantage can only become better with more number of columns. All right, with that, we come to the end of this series on React Table. What I have covered in this series is pretty much what I had to implement at work. So they all are practical use cases that you might also have to eventually implement. Having said that, there are a few more awesome features that React Table provides which you can have a look at. There is grouping, inline row editing, row drag and drop, column resizing, and even integration with CSS libraries like Material UI. I would recommend you visit the React Table docs for examples on these features. Now that you have a good understanding of React Table, understanding the example code should be much more easier. All right then, thank you guys for watching. And if you've enjoyed the series, please do leave a like and share the playlist with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to also subscribe to the channel and until next time, please take care.